Hey everyone, my name is Michael. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about simulators, how to set them up, and where to start your flying journey. This is Learning to FPV with me. Let's get right into it. Today we're going to talk about what simulator I use, which transmitter I use or used or what transmitters you can use on the simulator that I'm gonna bring up today, what cables you'll need to get all those three things together, and then where do you start your flying journeys? Right, so first things first, uh, we're gonna go get ourselves a simulator. Now the simulator that I use is DRL, which is the Drone Racing League. I got it off of Steam, so let's jump on over to Steam and, uh, and, and I'll show you which one I'm talking about. So the Drone Racing League is a premier FPV racing game and simulator. It's used by the drone racing league pilots to train. It's got very accurate physics, a lot of customability. Nope. Custom, customizability. Nope. Customizability. Um, and it's great. It allows you to both race and freestyle and has a really good tutorial system, which is the reason why I chose this. This is a safe bet. Velocidrone, liftoff, things like that are also really good bets. Uh, I'll leave a link down below to get FPV's website where they kind of break down all the different simulators and, and, and you know, the benefits of each of them. It costs 15 quid. So 15 quid, I don't know what they'll be in dollars. So like $19, let's call it. Um, relatively inexpensive actually. And then when you pair that with a the controller that I was talking about in my last video, which should be somewhere up here, um, you're looking at about, let's call it 70 pounds to start the journey now if you watch that last video you're going to send that controller back so 20 quid is what your investment is if you don't want to get into fpv at the end of kind of doing this whole process that we're going to talk about today the next thing we're going to talk about is um what controller uh do i use so i'm using the dji um remote controller now this i got with the dji fpv system like the pack the goggles everything now when i started which is important um i actually started with my xbox controller so you can actually use this on the simulator which i'll go through you can use an xbox controller or a playstation controller on the drone racing league simulator um, it has some limitations which we'll go through once you get into the sim but as a first thing if you have one of these lying at home which you probably do um, pick this up plug it in i think it needs to be one of the xbox one controllers it can't be before that the xbox one controllers you plug it in and you can go at a, go ahead and fly. So that's fantastic. You don't need to spend any money then if you have that. It does have some limitations, which I'll get into. Right, the next thing that you're gonna need um, is a cable like this to connect uh, everything up together. So you're gonna need one of these to connect the controller up with the simulator. I'll leave a link down for this thing down there. It's a simple, it's USB, USB on one side and then like an audio jack type thing on the other side. Now this goes into the DJI controller has that little port, but other controllers will have something like you have a, you have a focus. You have one of these, a little, a little adapter that has a female port over there, which you plug into. And then it has one of these old school kind of, I don't know what this thing is called, but this plugs into the back of uh of the controller the the transmitter that you'd buy which i talked about in the last video let's let's jump into the simulator i'll launch it with you you'll see what it's all about you'll probably hear all the sounds it's very loud intro music so bear with me i'm going to chuck on some headphones um and then we'll we'll get everything set up okay see what i mean nice loud music gets you in the mood now we're ready to fly it has a nice big menu system. I'll try not to click on that so it makes all those noises. Um, offers lots of things, so let's go through it quickly. Solo racing, multiplayer, so that's when you can race against other people. Solo racing is when you can practice yourself. Freestyle, where it gives you a bunch of maps and you can just kind of go out and explore, practice, learn, fly. We'll get into that in another video. Um, the training, which I think is fantastic. And then some other things, the workbench, you can build the actual drone you're planning on flying or buying, practice with it, feel it out. And then community drones are drones that other people have bought. This is actually really good. Uh, hot tip. Hot tip. 
This is really good when you're looking online for a drone that you want to buy. You can use this community drone thing to... So click on there, you search, let's say, for example, the Nazgul, which is a, a, a bind and fly drone that's out in the market, uh, which is what I wanted to buy. You search that up, you put it onto, you select it, and then you fly with it and you see what it's like to fly. It's a good feature that I think this has, which is fantastic. But the first controller, which we're going to do is the Xbox controller. So Xbox One and up. So you're going to take your Xbox controller, you're going to take a micro USB cable, which plugs into the back. You're going to plug that in. So we're going to come over here to settings. We're going to click controller setup. So it now knows that I have an Xbox, which is fantastic. Um, and we're going to click quick cl calibration. So make sure your sticks are centralized. They are centralized. Um, so just before going to that, so on the le on the right hand side here, you can see the little drone. And on the left hand side is the controller. This is what it's going to show you on this side what you need to do. You need to copy these moves. And on this side, it's good and important to look at because you'll be able to kind of see if it's reacting the correct ways, which will come in later when we need to invert the controls if it didn't pick it up correctly. So we're going to go calibrate, centralize the sticks. We're going to leave it. Great. Rotate the sticks to filter. So we're going to turn them around. Yeah, we're going to throttle the stick up. Yep, yaw. So we're going to use that. Pitch. I'm going to pitch forward. Roll. Fantastic. Restart button, drone reset, fantastic. Okay, cool. So that part's done, that's fantastic. Now that same method is the same on um, the con on the on the on this, exactly the same. It's the same on every any other controller. Um, so I, we'll get to that in a second. Now the thing that's important to look at. So any of these controllers is before we get into too much detail. You want to make sure that all this stuff is correct. So on the left on the left hand stick. Uh, the left hand stick over here when you push up the drone needs to go upwards when you pull it down you want to see that throttle goes in the opposite direction so you can see that green line over there then you want to test the the yaw so you move it to the left you want the drone the left stick you move it to the left you want the drone to your left you turn it to the right you want it to your right so it looks like that's doing the right thing then we want to check pitch so we're going to push it forward fantastic pull it back fantastic working roll everything looks like it's fine so in this case we don't need to invert anything we'll click save and uh now we're going to be ready to fly I'll show you now so i have an xbox controller in and you'll see on the screen we we'll fly up yeah yeah fantastic yeah so we're all good we're flying and we'll uh not a very good landing but hey we're here Great, so now the things that I want to talk about quickly with our controller that don't quite work with the simulator and they don't match up with how a normal remote or transmitter works. So let's quickly talk about a normal transmitter. So that has two, um, two gimbals or two sticks on either side. One of them, depending on which mode you choose, which we'll get into in a different video, but this is a mode two controller. So the left hand stick is the throttle stick. And if you can see in here, it is able to stop in a certain place right now if you're familiar with an xbox controller it can't do that right so the sticks always auto return to the middle now this doesn't do that the throttle one specifically the other one does so the gimbal on this side will return to the middle but this one won't return to the middle so that's the differences and that's where kind of practicing with this kind of not set you up for bad habits but um, if you practice with that for a really long time, it, it's difficult to move over to these controllers, which is what I actually found. So I had this for, I don't know, about a, a week probably before I got an actual um, transmitter. So uh, it was very difficult. Very difficult is not the wrong word. It was a little bit difficult for me to change over, but at least I had the basics down. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. <laughs> Next thing on the list is an actual transmitter or in my case the dji uh, remote controller so this one connects with the little um aux kind of jack port at the bottom over here what you need to do is power the controller on so you push the button in let go push it down and hold it that'll power the controller on so now what it's it'll probably make a noise in a second but what it's trying to do is find the receiver so it hasn't found the receiver so we'll just tell it that it's okay what we're going to do is just simply plug it into the bottom here it's got a little usb port yeah it's got a little aux 
like auxiliary port at the bottom there you just plug that in and you'll be ready to go so now we're going to do the same process that we did before so we're going to jump back into the simulator quickly we're going to go controller setup so now it doesn't quite know what we have here but it knows that it is a uh, transmitter one of these kind of rc hobby transmitters so we'll go quick calibration it asks me to center the sticks so we're in the middle we're going to click calibrate keep the stick centered fantastic great rotate sticks so we're just going to turn them around so now we're going to throttle up so i'll try to show you throttle up yield the stick right great pitch forward and we're going to oh sorry roll so this is the one that i haven't quite figured out how to do yet so i'll, I'll admit that i'll update it in the in the um in the description down below if i do figure it out so I, I haven't quite worked out how to do the race switches um but that's okay so if i if i try to go calibrate and i push the buttons i haven't quite worked out how to do it so if you do know how to do it please drop a comment down below because i would love to learn um and then i can make an updated video for anyone who who wants to learn the same so i skip these two i skip the drone reset set uh switch um, and then what we want to do is do the same check right so as you can see here i'm pulling the throttle up and down and it's going the wrong way around so i will go invert and now it should work no th no throttle full throttle looks good Make sure that mid stick's turned off so that the, the start point is at the bottom then we'll do your so your looks like it's right i'm turning to the right it's your into the right i'm turning to the left it's your into the left pitch so pushing it forward it's roll it's rolling the drone forward pushing it forward great rolling to the right rolling to the left fantastic so we've we've set up our controller now that's great save um we'll do the sensitivities and stuff in a different video we'll go back freestyle drone originals we'll pick uh i mean the same one's fine controller setup should be fine we'll go oh this is there we go fantastic hard to fly on the side okay cool so we got the drone set up and we got the controller set up we have a working simulator where you and me can practice as much as possible without worrying about crashing which is important so the tutorials you can find on the main menu uh under f under train and there's three different sections so this one's obviously the very basic stuff which we'll go through in a different video um, then this one behind the goggles kind of starts you on um, tracking and moving through the sky as opposed to just kind of the single direction single stick kind of movements and then the road to pro is a little bit more advanced or a lot more advanced actually when you start doing the basic maneuvers of fpv racing which is not what this channel is about but some of those things you'll need to know i'm going to need to know to get in and out of the shots that you want to achieve and then from the training i would go into the freestyle where you have a big open space and you can fly high up in the air and you can get the feeling for how a drone feels in the air and what the sticks are doing whilst you're doing that because it's important and mind fucking really to put it lightly great so i hope you found this useful uh maybe you have maybe you haven't i would love to know your feedback down below uh and yeah i I just want to kind of be useful i'm documenting the process this is the same process i went through so i think you can do it you definitely have a uh, an xbox or a playstation uh, remote or you can spend like 50 quid on a uh on a fly sky remote or something like that and a seven quid cable and then like a 20 quid drone so what's that uh, a drone simulator so that's 20 plus another 10 for the cable call it and then another 50 so that's what that is it equals this much money to start but we can cross off a whole lot of that because you're going to send that controller back 
and you'll have to take the hits on the cable. So 30 quid at most for you to figure it out if you are worried about spending money on a hobby that you might not enjoy. So 30 quid's not that bad to spend uh, to figure out if you like a hobby. Um, people spend 30 quid on golf rounds all the time. Me. Um, cool. So enough babbling. Uh, nice to see you guys. And I'll see you.